from above. I never gave what you see. Don't get the love song. Welcome to my video on vintage find under 100 US dollars. Today I have a lot to talk about because I'm going to showcase to you my favorite designer Christian Dior. I love Christian Dior for the femininity and elegance and you could carry the style for 10 to 20 years without feeling old or outdated. Let me start with this bag that I believe is the oldest in my collection. This is from the 80s. There's a city logo here and city engraving on the leather. I actually painted the city of gold. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. When you look inside, this is the tag. The inner pocket actually comes out. This is made in France. So Christian Dior has been making that back in France until the 1990s. Uh, although I heard that someone found uh, some Dior items in Lafayette, Paris recently that is made in France. So maybe they have started a factory line in France again. This is PVC material. And this is very thick. The leather is also very thick. You take a look at the hardware here. It has a very sturdy connection. Bags in the 80s are built to last. I'm thinking it could probably survive doomsday. It's indestructible. Mm. The next bag I'm going to talk about is from the similar time period. This bag is also from the 80s. This is the Dior logo over here. And it has a similar tag inside, Christian Dior made in France. Mm. So this bag has got honeycomb pattern. If I remember correctly, the honeycomb pattern is invented in the 1960s. Mm. This bag is also made from PVC, but this is softer than this bag. Mm. As you can see, this the flap open and close very softly. If this is a casual day bag, this will be an elegant evening bag. The strap is adjustable. You can wear it crossbody or shoulder bag. It's a beautiful, versatile bag. I really love it. Last but not least, this is a lambskin bucket bag. The drawstring here. The lambskin is very smooth and soft and beautiful. And this is their signature Carnage pattern that appears on a lot of Lady Dior bags. The Carnage pattern is inspired by the wicker chair in one of their Dior fashion shows. I love the solid and quality lining as with any other Christian Dior bag. And this is very roomy. You could carry a lot of stuff like for a day trip. And I think of it as a less formal version of Lady Dior with the same beautiful pattern. Like sometimes when you don't want to carry the bag to subway or everyday use, this will be a very good alternative. This is the beautiful hardware here. It's a bit rustic looking actually. When you look inside, the tag here says made in Italy. Apparently, you can tell when it is made from the number series. The first and the third number indicates the month. Um, the second and the fourth number indicates the year. In this case, this bag is made in September 2006. I also got some accessories. For example, this wallet over here. I believe this is from the 70s. Mm. It is the honeycomb pattern. And here it says Christian Dior, Paris, New York. I also have this cute wallet over here. It is from 2004. Mm. I find it really youthful and cute. 
I have this little charm here that is the all crossover cost for the menswear. The ring I'm wearing is also from Dior. I don't think you can see the engraving at the back, but it says Christian Dior Germany. I believe this is from the 70s. That's when they make jewelry in Germany. Last but not least, the belt I'm wearing here, CD logo, slightly from the 70s. I hope you like my video today. Thank you.